Hi developers, let's learn how to run the build pipeline to validate a pull request. When we enable continuous integration, the build pipeline will run only on every new git push to the branch. This means we might have some code for an incomplete functionality that is not ready to be released yet. It doesn't make sense to run the build in this case. That's why we should use pull requests. We create a feature X branch from master or dev branch for each new user story. We commit into it until we finish the development. At that point, we go to merge feature X with master or dev branch. A developer will go to look at our source code, read it and validate it to get merged. But before doing that, we want to make sure the code does compile successfully. The PR will trigger the build pipeline to compile the app and run unit tests to make sure the merged branch will not break the build. And if it does break the build, then the merge will not happen and the developer should go fix it and create a new pull request. In addition to running the build, we will run the release to make sure the app will work correctly when deployed. Here, we will not deploy to the production environment, neither to the QA or staging, but we'll create another isolated environment dedicated to validate the pull request. Join me in this video to show you how to create the status check in GitHub to run the build pipeline in each time we have a new PR. Let's configure GitHub and Azure DevOps in order to run the CI pipeline in each time we have a new pull request that is created on the master branch. So let's start with configuring Azure DevOps. From here I have a sample CI pipeline for an ASP.NET Core application that is available on GitHub on this repository. And from here in the triggers section, we can select triggers for the continuous integration. So in each time we have a new commit or a new push on the GitHub repository, this will trigger the CI pipeline. And we can enable that by just checking the enable continuous integration uh, checkbox. But this is not a good practice when we work with multiple branches because we want to we want to let our developers to finish developing their features before running the CI pipeline. It doesn't make sense to run the CI pipeline in each time they have a new commit or a new push. Maybe they don't yet, uh, they didn't yet uh, finish developing their branch. So instead, what we want to do is to run the CI pipeline in each time they create a new pull request. For that, we go here to the pull request validation and we'll go to enable the pull request validation. So when we create a pull request, we target a specific branch. And here with Azure DevOps, we, we can configure that uh, branch we are targeting. So we can include or exclude the branch. Here, I want to include the target branch master. So in each time a new uh, pull request is created to, to merge another branch with the master branch, this will trigger the CI pipeline. We can also include some other branches, maybe for example, if you are using the developer, the dev branch, we can also include multiple branches. And we can also exclude some branches. Let's say in my team, we are using a test branch and we only, we are just using that on our local uh, development. We don't want the CI to run when we target that test branch. In addition to the branch filters, we have also the path filters. The path filters is useful when we, we have a documentation in our project. In my case here, I have a docs folder. This one contains just a readme file. So it doesn't make sense to run this CI pipeline in each time we change the documentation or the readme file. For that, we can, uh, we can exclude those from here. So I can say I want to exclude any changes to the doc folder and I want also to exclude any uh, change to the readme file. We have some other um, configuration to run the CI pipeline in each time a new pull request is coming from a fork of the repository. 
we are fine with this for that I'll go to save those changes and now I'll go to also queue this uh, pipeline uh, and I'm queuing it right here manually in order to be able to continue this demo on uh, github later when uh, we are uh, required actually to run the pipeline before um, configuring uh, the github uh, policies so while it is running let's go now to configure the cd pipeline to also run when we want to merge um, or to create a pull request for that i'll go to my release pipeline here and note here that i have multiple environments i have uh, the pr validation this one is a dedicated environment in order to um, run or to check that the pr is valid we can also have some validation in the CI pipeline, but maybe we want to add some extra validation in our CD pipeline before deploying those changes into production because we need to not uh, fully trust uh, those uh, PR, especially the, the one coming from um, uh, external uh, contributors to the project. So let's configure the CI pipeline. So we'll start here by enabling the continuous um, deployment trigger for the pull request. So here we have the option to configure either the uh, continuous deployment trigger. And if we enable this, then this means that the uh, release pipeline will run and each time the build pipeline runs successfully. But here, instead of doing that, we'll go to say we want to run the pull request trigger right here. So when we enable this, we'll have some extra configuration that will be displayed right here for the target branch. So here I'll go to say my target branch is the master branch and note here we can also add some uh, build tags. I'll add also another one for my dev branch. And then in the stages section note here it tells that zero of the three stages are enabled for pull request deployments because here we just enabled the pull request deployment but which environment uh, this uh, pull request will uh, will run uh, this will run in which environment so we can specify the environment let's go to save those uh, changes and let's go now to uh, enable the pull request to target the PR validation and only the PR validation. So let's go to click here pre deployment conditions, where here we have a setting for pull request deployment. And all we need to do is just to enable this one. This means in each time the pull request will uh, will be created it will target the ci pipeline then it will go to run here and the pr validation uh, environment this means it won't run on my test or production environments so this is all the configuration required in my uh, in azure devops for the pr trigger to work in azure devops from github we need to install the azure pipelines from the GitHub Marketplace. For that here from my account, I go to the Marketplace and make sure that Azure Pipelines were installed. I go to look for the extension for Azure Pipelines and it is this one right here. So I go to select it. Then I need to install it on in my repo. Here I have already done that. Otherwise you will have a button say, uh, asking you to install this uh, extension in, in your uh, GitHub repositories. So make sure you install this before continuing the demo. Now let's go to GitHub to configure it to add a new rule. For that I'll go to my re repository here created in uh, GitHub. I'll go to the settings section. then. I'll go to the uh, branches section right here. And from here I can uh, define some protection uh, rules. So let's add uh, a new rule here. Let's target the branch master. 
and then here I'll go to check the requires status checks to pass before merging. Let's check that and note here we have uh, here displayed the CI pipeline that will run uh, in each time a new pull request is created and this one won't appear if you don't run the CI pipeline as I have uh, said earlier so we need to have this running and we see also the CD pipeline doesn't appear because we didn't run it yet this CD pipeline so let's go to create a new release from here and from here we can only target the PR validation but here it's fine I'll go to target the three environments let's create this one and let's wait for uh, a few seconds until the CD pipeline runs successfully let's go to view the logs from here once all the three environments run successfully now I can go back to my Azure uh, or to uh, my github and from here actually I need to refresh this page and then I will select again uh, or I say the uh, branch name is my master branch then I go to say require status checks let's try to refresh this page and from here we see the uh, configuration here so we we did configure the status check to run for the CI pipeline and here you notice that there is another CI pipeline that's um, we can ignore this one as I created this one when uh, before starting this demo just to check that everything works fine but here we have the CI pipeline but we don't see the CD pipeline and this is a bit tricky when working with uh, github here so we can see this CD pipeline if we go to run the pull request on this CI pipeline later we'll be able to see the uh, CD pipeline so let's save those changes and let's go to create a pull request so from here I'll go to open a new window for my github account and let's go to create a new uh, feature let's call this one feature one I create a new branch and now I want to add or to change some uh, code in my source code files so let's go to this startup.cs for example and let's make some changes to this file let's just add some uh, extra uh, space let's make sure to edit this file and I will just add an extra space right here then I'll commit those simple uh, changes then if I go back to the repo right here I have this button saying compare and pull request I click on this in order to uh, be able to merge the feature one to the master branch so there is no uh, no conflicts right here so we can create the pull request let's click on that button and now github will run the, those status checks so this means it will run the CI pipeline and here thanks to the Azure pipelines uh, extension and thanks to the um, integration between Azure DevOps and GitHub we can see the status of running this pipeline right here from GitHub and we can click this button details we can open this in a new window to see uh, in real time the output of the console running the CI pipeline let's wait a few seconds until this pipeline uh, runs successfully once that's done now if I go back to Azure, to github from here you'll see that this one will be updated in a few seconds we can go to refresh this page to see that here the CI pipeline ran successfully and now we can see that the release pipeline did appear right here and it is now running for that we can see the status pending if we go to the details and open that in a new window then we'll be able to see the CI pipeline running my PR validation environment and here it did run successfully let's go to refresh again to see now that all my two successful or my two status checks did run successfully both the CI and the CD pipeline did run successfully so now 
my branch is ready to be merged to the master branch. Let's go to finalize that merge by clicking the merge pull request. I'll confirm the merge. And once I did the merge, now I don't need any more my uh, feature one branch. So I'll go and delete it. And that's all the configuration. Now, in order, in each time I want to uh, create a pull request, I'll do that. Then GitHub will run the CI and CD pipelines for my pull request in order to perform uh, status checks and in order to make sure that the pull request uh, or the new features added to in my pull request works successfully as expected. So now if I go back to the uh, branches right here in my uh, settings, if I uh, refresh this page, then from here I'll be able to see now the new release pipeline will appear right here. Now I can uh, check it um, and then I'll go to save the changes so that I make sure it will run in each time. So this was all the configuration needed in order to run those CI CD pipelines for when we create pull requests. So remember, for the CDI pipeline, for the CI pipeline, we need to go to the triggers window, pull request validation, then check the enable pull request validation, add the branches you want to target, and exclude the uh, folders where you don't want to uh, run this pipeline. Then from the release. Uh, pipeline, all we need to do is to go to enable continuous or to enable pull request trigger by just uh, enabling this button, then adding the branch you want to target, it's master in my case, then go to the environment you want to run after validating this pull request. And here you go to uh, uh, pre deployment conditions and enable pull request deployment. So I hope this video was helpful for you and if you are looking for uh, other resources then please go to see my uh, YouTube channel where here I post lots of videos about uh, anything DevOps, containers, Kubernetes, uh, software development and many more. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to get my uh, latest videos. So thank you.